Our story begins in Scotland, where years ago the Gritters were given names. Soon the idea floated across the ocean, and Vermonters asked VTrans to name the snowplows. This fall, Secretary Flynn decided to invite Vermont students to come up with names. The idea was a wild success. Each school could submit one plow name. Many teachers did activities to brainstorm names. An art teacher told us, I'm incorporating the plow naming into an art and mapping lesson. I have a kindergartner whose art goal was to learn how to draw trucks better. I love this connection. Other teachers taught about winter highway maintenance and safety. A school librarian wrote, We showed AOT videos with the drivers talking and a WCAX ride-along. It's been a fun week. Many schools held elections to determine the name. One principal said, we put the favorites to an all-school vote, and it was a tight race. Our winner won by one vote. Many teachers and principals noted that this program came just at the right time. Thanks for injecting some fun into a fun deficit school year, one said. The emails from schools were bursting with excitement, joy, and exclamation marks as they awaited visits from our drivers and plows. One principal summed up the anticipation. Oh my gosh, the students will about die from the excitement. Honestly, I might too. Another said, it will be the best day of the year. The kids will remember this for the rest of their lives. Behind the scenes at AOT, the logistics were tricky. Several of our 250 full-size trucks were being worked on and unavailable. Then we realized that Vermont Plow Day on November 17th was during hunting season and many plow drivers had the day off. But we all know that our maintenance teams get the job done. Some districts shared their extra plows and a few drivers doubled up on school visits. One of our DTAs doubled the fun by making stickers for the students. He said, can you imagine how much good conversation is being created over the stickers with our neighbors and customers? Such a wonderful investment into our community relationships. The stories and thank yous poured in from the schools. Now, students all over Vermont had a personal connection to their plow driver and their plow truck. Duane was fantastic, answered student questions, and was super friendly with everyone. We had so much fun this morning as Yvonne and Jake came with our named plow trucks. The students were not the only ones who had a good time. One DTA said, I think some of the employees who participated enjoyed this exercise more than the kids. Another DTA said, our staff got a nice boost out of the day. This was a true win-win for all involved. The Vermont news coverage was extensive. Then the Associated Press interviewed us and our story went national and international. Newspapers in Taiwan and Borneo published it. We heard from two towns in Massachusetts that wanted to know how we organized the program so they could do it too. A retired Vermont couple in Florida loved the program and how we involved young students. A woman in Indiana planned to ask her DOT to name its snow plows. And the owner of a private plowing service in Montana wrote us that naming trucks is cool and he does it too. WCAX is now featuring our drivers and plow trucks every week during the morning news, and the governor's office will honor some of our plow drivers on social media and with a personal letter from the governor. And of course, the story goes on and on. Every time that Darth Blader and Dorito and Plowy McPlowface head out to clear the snow, Vermont students will see their plow doing its job, and our drivers will pass their school along the route.